What's up guys welcome back to part 2 tutorial of strings.xml In this video I will show you the live demonstration how you can use your codes inside the Eclipse. Now inside the Eclipse we were making our Android application on Android interview. Now what we are gonna do we are going to add the string array inside the strings.xml. Now guys it is not compulsory that you store your strings array inside the default strings.xml. You can create your own XML file. Right click, new, Android XML file. Then after that, just name it as let's say simple questions. Hit on resources, hit finish. Now go to the simple questions.xml tab. Now here your resource tag has been created inside the simple questions.xml. Now this XML file has been stored inside the values folder because these are the resources containing the strings and strings arrays. Now press control space. I am going to use string array. Fine. Now let's name our string array as simple underscore question. Right? Now as discussed in the last video we have to store the elements inside the array name simple quest by using the tag item. Now here whatever I will type here will be our item. Fine. Now let us do one thing. Let us paste our first question inside the item tag. Now guys this is my first question what is android. Now let us create a new xml file here. Now let us name it as simple underscore answers. Fine hit finish. Then again inside the resources inside the simple answers type string array. Name it as simple question. Now guys here I am storing. Now let me explain you what I have done here. I have created the two XML files simple questions.xml and the simple answers.xml. Now in the now the first element of the XML file simple question is containing what? What is Android? Now the answer to this question I am storing inside the simple answers.xml. Now this is the item which is actually the answer of this question. Now let us store our second element inside the simple questions array. Now guys here is our second question what is a Google Android SDK and the answer to this question I have to store inside the simple answers.xml. Now why I have created the separate XML files so as to avoid any confusion. Now this XML file will specifically contain the string array of simple questions and this XML will specifically contains the answer to the question stored inside the simple questions dot XML. Now guys I have done a mistake here. Let's change it to answer right simple answer and simple question. Now the second element I have to store here. Now here I have stored my second element the answer to the question what is Google Android SDK. The Google Android SDK is a tool tool set that developers need in order blah 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 whatever it is there. So whatever question I am storing here the corresponding answer should be stored with the corresponding index in the simple answers dot xml. Fine. Now what I am trying to say is that whatever question you are storing inside the simple questions dot xml suppose the first element in the simple question array is actually question one then the corresponding answer to this question should be stored in the first index only like I have stored here question one and the answer to the question one I have stored at the zeroth index inside the simple answers dot xml fine similarly question two answer two at index one question three answer three at index two and so on make sure guys all the elements stored in the respective index are related to each other otherwise it will be a big problem for you and the app user right so similarly let's store all the questions here and all the corresponding answers here now here i go i have stored the 50 questions inside the category of simple questions and correspondingly 50 answers inside the the category of simple answer now if you are thinking from where i got this question now please google it guys all these questions i have got from the google get it from there and try to and try to use those questions that are quite important from the interview point of view right 
Now, similarly, guys, we can create tough questions dot XML and tough answers dot XML. Now, here we go, guys. I have created two XML files: difficult answers dot XML and difficult questions dot XML. Right now, inside the difficult questions dot XML, I have stored all the difficult questions. And inside the difficult answers, I have stored all the corresponding difficult answers. Fine. In similar way, what we did inside the simple questions dot XML and simple answers dot XML. Right. Now, just save this XML file and close it. Now, what we are gonna do? Just go to simple questions dot Java. Now, here, let us implement our on create. Now, let us define our string array globally. The syntax of what I'm using here, guys, I have discussed in the previous tutorial. So please go back and check out my previous tutorial. Simple question, and let's say simple answers. Fine. Now inside the on create, let us decode it. Simple question equal to get resources. This was our syntax. Dot get string array. R dot array dot simple question now similarly for simple answers equal to get resources dot get string array r dot array dot simple answers fine so all these codes that that you can see here i have discussed in the previous tutorial these are the codes to import your import all the string array from these XML file into our Java class right now now guys one step I have just forgot to mention here let's write set content view r dot layout dot questions dot XML fine now this is the questions dot XML guys that we designed in the few tutorials back now we are going to use the same questions dot XML for our tough questions or Java also. So let us do one thing. Just copy it and paste it inside the tough question because I'm too lazy for coding guys. Seriously. Now let's change it. Let's say string tough questions, tough answers, tough questions and change the ID also. Difficult questions, right? Now here, difficult answers. Now change the variable, tough answers, right? Now guys, we are good to go. Our simple questions or Java and the tough questions or Java. Our basic structural code is now completed. Both the activities, simple question dot Java and the tough question dot Java are going to look like this, right? We have created questions dot XML, which is common to both our activity classes. So, so the common layout reduces our workload. We don't have to design the same layout for both the activities. Now guys, we will continue our further Java coding in the next tutorial. So hope the things in this video guys, it's clear. So catch you guys in next video and please subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw and please leave a comment below my video and please guys do like my video and do share my video because our growth depends on your support only. This is Shrek from Smart Heart signing off and have a good day. Thanks for watching.